All right, first things what we're gonna do is all of the hard to reach areas, especially like the training edge here, the cavity here for the aileron. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put a strip of Monaco basically on the sides and the actual training edge itself, all right? This one is basically one whole piece, basically just slapped on here and then using the um, trim sealing tool, went ahead and tucked this thing right at the corner. And from here, went ahead and just ironed down this piece, nice and flat, trying not to put any bubbles, all the way till we get to this corner here. And then from there, to ensure that I get into that corner, I utilize the trim sealing tool because if you use the big one you'll probably heat up the monaco onto the side here at the same time trying to get into that corner therefore what's going to happen is that this corner is not really going to the monaco is not really going to get down into this actual edge all right so the best way to do this is use your sealing tool really get in there and push that down into that corner just like so all right that way you know for a fact that this complete corner that monaco is all the way engaged all the way down into that that edge and this edge of this corner corner if it make any sense all right and then from here, we'll go ahead and attach this side now here, all right? And so from there, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down so I get better. You be able to basically pull, stretch, and then iron it down. got it down in the corners everything's all nice and flat no bubbles whatnot no creases and then from here we can get our exacto blades all right and we'll go ahead and cut this corner make a relief cut that way we can fold this back like so we'll do the same thing on this side just make a relief cut that way we can also fold this down on this like so. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and trim it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, iron this roughly about, you can do it about a 1 16th of an inch overlap or just 1 8. That's really up to you. So what I do is I normally just kind of roll the monocoat over that edge just as far as I can think, as far as I would like. And once I get that completely ironed down like that, that's roughly Roughly about an eighth of an inch. I don't know if you can see it. It's roughly about like an eighth, a little bit, a little bit under an eighth. All right. And then from there, I'll go ahead and take my razor blade and I'll actually trim that. So I'm going to use a new blade. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do this side as well. Alright, so this right here, I'm just going to go ahead and iron this edge. Just 
probably gonna be about a, an eighth of an inch overlap. I keep saying overlap, but not uh, ironed in. All right, and then from here we can pull it back some, just like so, and then taking your exacto blade or single edge razor blade and just follow along all the way down, making the cut. All right. that same thing over here just making sure that I got the monocle ironed on the edge and I'll bend it back roughly about an eighth and then we'll just use exact the razor blade cut it straight down just like that all right I'm not doing anything Fancy here. Alright, nothing here is fancy. Just basic stuff. Alright, same thing. And then we'll pull it back towards the edge, getting a nice straight line. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I get this pretty much where I want it. basically trim it at the edge that's not a problem especially up here this is gonna be a complete different color it's gonna be orange up here so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this back just pull it back some as long as it's sealed you would be good to go all right so we got it completely sealed there I think we're good here. This is where I want to make my cut. So, I grab my, my single edge razor blade. I'm going to put it down, pull in my monocoat, and I'm just going to glide all the way down the full length. I'm not stopping. Just like that. Alright? And then you'll see basically really nice clean edge. All the way around and then eventually we'll take our seating iron and we'll just basically seal this completely that edge really lock it in onto the wall, uh, wood here all right that's all we're doing just really securing this edge take care of the other side as well same deal I'm going to iron this corner get this monocoque to really get in there on the lip or the edge like so pull it back some Just glide the blade on top all the way down on stop. Right. Once you get the hang of this, you won't need any special cutting tool or whatnot. use the surface as your yeah I'm even using my opposite hand here left hand don't make a difference as long as you're using the uh, the surface of the aircraft as a guide and it's straight then you'd be okay what I'm gonna do is iron this edge right here Back. Now 
some of you are probably wondering why I don't just iron this whole thing like that. Uh, that's just unnecessary material underneath. Uh, we're not really going to need to do that. Just a little bit more monocle, basically. More material on the wood structure. It's unnecessary. surface as a guide and just cut it straight down. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and just iron this on, sealing that. We'll seal all these edges. But just remember when we put the other pieces of monocle up here, it's going to basically all connect to each other. Just like that, we got a completely covered uh, area here. All right. Now we're gonna start covering the bottom section of the wing first. All right. Now you could also do the same thing we did here, right here. You can also do that for the front. Cover all this section right here ahead of time. All right, so that's what we're gonna do next. And after that, you got two things. You can, since we're gonna cover the whole bottom of this, basically white, um, about up to here is gonna be orange, just like so. And then everything else is gonna be white. So to ensure that, uh, we don't necessarily have to combine the two colors separately on glass like we did on the fuselage because this has is basically fully sheeted all right so what we can do is we can start with the white up to a certain point and then from there we'll take the orange later on after it's all ironed down we'll take the orange and line it up overlap it about one eighth because we actually have backing here so we should be good we don't need to do the quarter uh, inch overlap all right and we'll see how that goes
so we got pretty much the left wing panel fully covered to include the aileron so we got the aileron fully covered as well all right so we got that going on and from here what we need to do is go ahead and uh, cut open the areas basically for the hinges and what I'm going to be utilizing is pretty much my soldering iron with a real fine soldering tip that I don't use pretty much so we're going to use this to go ahead and cut open the slots that I made just like so and just make sure that you are on your slots that's the only thing so what I'm doing here is just finding the location of my slot and then from there I'll just pierce a little bit just let the soldering iron do the work to open that up just like so Just like that, we got my hinges opened up on the aileron, and then now we're gonna go to the actual wing itself, and we're gonna look for the locations as well. I'm gonna open those up real quick. Mm, almost, almost missed on that one, but there you go. So we got all that opened up and can utilize the iron as well the seaming iron or soldering iron to open up other holes as well like I did here for the uh, wing bolt also the location for the struts strut mount the jury strut and also the mount for the regular strut the main struts all right so there we go we got fully covered left wing panel now we got to do is the right wing panel and then from there we will start cutting out templates for the star streaks onto the uh, wing panels itself all right guys all right so we got the wing pretty much fully covered why can't I say fully covered because I'm still lacking one aileron, so let me go ahead and uh, finish up one more aileron. That's the right hand side, which is that. I'll take care of that tomorrow. But other than that, we got um, the plane pretty much all covered. All right. I don't know if you can see the edge there of the wing tip kind of dark on this side all right all the way down but yeah you know it is what it is guys all right so when you use this and when you when you cut this right you cut it as straight as you can to hide the seam when it's crooked it's when you're gonna start seeing a lot of the seams all right, so the best way to really hide the seams is to have a good straight cut. All right, other than that, um, you really don't see it from a foot away. You don't even really see it when you're four inches in front of it. All right, but hey, it is what it is. All right, you get a you got seams, you got seams. Who cares? Alright, but anywho, this is what we got going on so far. Uh, the rest basically we'll be doing the, the stars up on top. We'll do the same thing we did on the uh, horizontal stab and vertical fin, rudder, elevator. We'll do the black first and then we'll do the white. Alright, and then on that, on the bottom, we'll do the black 
stripes and then we'll go ahead and start wet sanding and the wheel pants the cowling and also the landing gear because this is all going to get painted and then once we're done with that we will glue down the canopy we'll go ahead and mask that off as well and also paint the um, frame of the canopy orange as well but other than that that's it that's all we got for now all right guys all right guys so what i got here i got the black basically underneath and then this flat black up top i don't know i should have done it the opposite way flat black on the bottom and then the shiny black up top but you know what it is what it is and um that's pretty much to give the illusion that there is a windscreen or glass up top of the wing like the real decathlon so that's all it is and um i believe in the real decathlon in the inside there is you know uh the tube frames and there's one cross member up top i believe going this way and so i'm just going to take some black shiny black and i'm just going to put a strip going across like that to kind of give that illusion you know it is what it is so yeah so we're going to go ahead and start making templates for the uh star street thingamabob we're gonna do the black first and then eventually the white all right guys so i went ahead and i freehand my stars and made a few templates and for now i think i'm gonna go with th this grouping all right so it's gonna be like this so this is pretty much the edge of the wing and um so everything is gonna go that way all right so what i'm gonna do now is since everything here is all just freehand roughed in type deal as you can see all my lines are not straight what i'm doing now is just coming back and defining the lines to make sure it's nice and straight so that when i put this over uh to cut out i'm actually following the correct line all right so that's all i'm doing here and the good thing about freehand drawing your own stars and everything is you can make it where it's you know all five points are all equal blah 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 all that stuff or you can give it some character kind of make it offset a little bit you know make one arm shorter than the other type deal uh in this case here i just went ahead and just made it all as close as i could with each other And it really comes down to the final positioning when applied on the uh, surface and how you're going to angle it and all that. Alright, so um, you still can tinker around with the positioning, uh, especially we're going to be utilizing the Windex method uh, with the use of monocoat. So you can pretty much set it down and wiggle it around type deal move it around take it apart you know remove it put it back on until you get the uh the final look you're looking for all right so other than that that's pretty much what i'm doing here i'm gonna go ahead and uh take care of this off camera so you don't have to keep watching me do this i mean this is self-explanatory and what i'm doing is just using a ruler and straightening out these lines that i did all right guys so as you can see what we've got going on here I'm just going around the stars just making my outline for the bottom layer black all right now eventually this is all going to get cut on um, cardstock or like construction paper type deal all right. 
That way I can continue using it for to duplicate the same pattern on the opposite wing just by flipping it over. Same way we did the uh, horizontal stab vertical fin type deal. We got the right wing panel here. We got the stars basically cut out with the use of the templates that we made earlier. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing set onto the wing with the use of Windex. Just the same way we did the horizontal uh, stab, vertical fin, elevator rudder uh, surfaces, all right? And so what this is going to be able to do is just allow you to position the monocoat over itself while utilizing a plastic spreader to minimize the bubbles, to get rid of the bubbles underneath and utilizing Windex because it evaporates quick and doesn't leave any residue and stuff in the back, right? It's the ideal liquid basically uh, for this process. Now that's only for monocoat. I don't know. I haven't tried it on ultra coat and all the, any other covering besides monocoat. Now normally I don't use the Windex method uh, initially in most of my coverings. I normally do the pinhole method uh, where you prick pretty much the uh, underneath the underlying uh, surface and then go ahead and iron down dry you know doing it slowly and still yields really good results with no bubbles at all all right it just takes it longer now this method here i find it yeah you still can get bubbles underneath utilizing this method so you still have to use care you got to give it time to fully evaporate the, the windex underneath uh, in between the monocoat and when you're utilizing your sealing iron, you must utilize it on low heat. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're not gonna iron anything down right now. We have to go ahead and utilize the Windex uh, and remove all the bubbles, get the stars to where I think will look good and set it there. All right, and then we're gonna have to wait for the Windex to basically evaporate fully cure before we go ahead and add any heat to it. All right, so what we're going to do is, I will mark this as I get myself a reference here, so that I can, you know, lay this back down where I really need it to be. All right, so I think we're good here. I want it to go right there. This one's going to go completely like this. Just like that. All right. So as long as I know our number one here, where that's going to be. All right. So go ahead and put this to the side. All right. And my tip. I'm just going to put a mark right here. Now, I might as well forget this thing. All right, so we're gonna put a mark right here, put a mark right here. So at least I know that's the point where my stars are gonna be. And then from here, I want this, I don't want this to go wrap around the wing like that. I want it to stop right about here. right where the wing tip is at so just like that and so what i'm going to do with that is i'm going to utilize some tape if i could find my tape there it is and we're going to go 
from here to here. Just like that. I'm gonna cut that right there. Okay, so I'll be where the first one's gonna be at. So I'm using this tape just so I can um, get what I'm gonna be cutting this at. And then from here, I'll just come back, remove this portion of the tape, and pulling it like that. I'm going to remove this portion of the tape here. Alright. Now I can go ahead and cut right in here. Cut this portion off. And so, I will get my glass. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go right here. And we're just going to cut. And you're wondering why I don't use the ruler, how it's intended, the non-skid portion this way, is because this is raised up higher. And so what happens if you don't keep your blade straight and you kind of tuck it underneath, you can still make a crooked cut regardless. So I keep it this way so I know that the metal portion of the ruler is completely touching table or the countertop or the glass that way there's no chance of this blade to slip underneath just keep it straight cut straight all right now if it's like this you got the gaps underneath sit like that and so you can end up going you know cutting your thing crooked all right so we got that cut we'll take off the backing try not to uh get any lint or anything Just like that, remove this tape. All right, and then from here, we're just gonna put a little mist of Windex. All right. Get my star to the mark. Get my tail in here. Oops. Get my tail in here. I'm doing this at real time here so you guys can see the struggles and all right what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get the front here nice and straight and so sometimes you're gonna have to come back with your straight edge ruler and see how crooked I am on that I'm off all right, so I'm gonna come back and try to get this to follow just like that. I think we're good there. All right. And then from here, all I'm gonna do is just squeegee.
try to remove as much of the air bubbles as you can at this stage. And if you can't remove it all, you can use your um, needle. And I'm not worried about the surface here because this is going to be technically underneath the light. And if you are really concerned about if, you're, if this is going to be your top layer, I suggest put in a, like a cloth or something over like a, even a paper towel. You know, sometimes paper towel with wet, it will basically leave some lint and stuff. So just find some, something that you can use that won't be plastic over plastic type deal to prevent any scratches. pretty much what we're doing here it's just like that you can see most of my bubbles are out of here so just like that just we're gonna get all your bubbles out you still got some windex underneath here which eventually would evaporate or will evaporate later and if you got some little dinky bubbles in there don't worry about it you know um, once the Windex does evaporate the, some real small fine bubbles here will disappear eventually especially over time uh, once it gets on in the Sun and all that all right and I got this one bubble right here it just doesn't want to go away right there you know what you can come back with a needle, you can kind of prick that just a little bit and then work it out, try to work it out. If not, don't worry, it eventually will go away. All right, so we got that down. We we'll grab our rag, just kind of wipe off all this excess. Just be mindful of your star tips, the ends. Don't rub your rag because you end up getting lint underneath the tips, which will cause the um, Monaco hard to uh, really stick down on the edges there. All right, so just like that, we got our first one down. I'm not worried about the black marks because um, lacquer thinner will be able to take that off without damaging your Monaco. All right, so we got that. Now remember, this is our right wing, so we're starting off with this. Everything that we do here, we're gonna eventually get measurements later on. And we're gonna get measurements and find points and you know get our measurements so that we can duplicate this same position on the next, the, the left wing. And so from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with the second star. And once we find a position, so I'm going to go ahead and do that here. It's going to go just like that. Can make it go higher. put a mark here make it three pointed star and this will go down just like that just like so all right let's go remove the backing I'm gonna leave this on here no more as a matter of fact I'm gonna use this to remove my backing Separate the Monaco. All right. Just 
like that, trying to keep all the lint and stuff from attaching to this. Alright, you're gonna see some of the Monaco, how it looks. It looks as if it has bubbles already, but you know what? Don't worry about it. Once the heat gets it, it'll tighten that up. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, a little bit of Windex there. It's almost like putting tint, automotive tint. Alright. We're going to go ahead and place our store. I want to get this away from the, uh, what you call that, the carpet that I got there because I don't want that lint on the carpet to get to the Monaco. Just like that. I want it just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and start up here so I can lock the star portion in place just like that. And then keeping sure that this is, you know, I got all this excess over here so it acts as, you know, gravity is going to pull it down. So I want to make sure I keep this nice and straight. As much as I can. lifting up right here I'm not worried about it right now at this point we stick and move move all this this is such a long travel we gotta make sure that we get that star there you go just like that use your hands get your straight edge ruler as well just double check just make sure that you're going in the right path everything's nice and straight and then we can go ahead and start really locking this down now when you come to the open bay areas don't push down too hard because you're always going to get a wrinkle because what happens here is that the monocle, the black, is always going to stretch. So if you push it down, and when the orange kind of, you know, comes back up, the black is going to wrinkle. So don't push too hard on your open bay areas. Just get enough to where you can squeegee most of that Windex out. bubbles now this portion here I'm not worried about just yet because we can easily come back cut this off and do this separately All right but your main thing is really ensuring that you got your the line going all the way to where you really need it to go. So I want it to go all the way over there just like that. Alright, so this right here, I'll just continue working this like that.
said, I'm not too worried about this aileron part because we can come back and we can actually just situate that on our own separately. All right, so if you can't get this port, the only reason why it keeps lifting up is because I got this on the hinge right now. So not to worry about it. Alright. And from here we can actually cut off this excess here at least to lessen the amount of gravity. So this cover in this right here is a lot of weight at the end causing it to pull the uh, monocoat down. Alright. So just like that. Alright. Just like that guys, nothing fancy about doing this, nothing special, it's just all about working man. Alright, so I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but we got some bubbles underneath here that we're still going to go ahead and try to work out. Like I said, some of these uh, bubbles really are not actual bubbles, but it's just the monocoat itself. Alright, so we're just going to continue working it until we get all the bubbles out as much as possible. But if you can't get every single bubble out, don't worry about it. So we're just going to go ahead and let that cure or dry and we'll go ahead and work on the third piece. All right. So that's this one right here and this one I wanted to kind of touch like about here and I think we'll be good or I can put it like this or like that. But what I do here, just remember, all this are going to be points that you get measurements off to uh, duplicate this same position on the uh, uh, left wing. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put this about here. I think this is where I want it. And we're just going to go ahead and put uh, my mark on my start so I know exactly where I will put this piece once again alright so just like that alright go ahead and uh, let me just make sure we're still recording here yep alright so I'm going to go ahead and Remove my backing. Just like that. Get 
some Windex there sprayed on. All right, guys. So this is pretty much how it looks with the Windex we just sprayed on there. So like I was talking about, you see we still got a little bit of bubbles here. All right, we're not too worried about those. They will disappear basically once everything is all dried underneath. And then we'll come back with the sealing iron and low and low heat. And we'll just basically iron and lock this thing down and it'll be good to go. All right, so all that will basically be gone. All right. For the vast majority of the area, you see this, the bubbles are basically out. All right. There's just some little, little dinky bubbles that you see there. And that'll all go away. But you have to make sure that uh, you allow this to dry completely before you put any heat. Because if you have any moisture still under, trapped underneath there, you will iron in a bubble and cause that thing to cre uh, crease as well all right so give it time to um, really cure or not cure but dry so that you can knock that in there and be as bubble free as possible all right so that's pretty down we got a few bubbles here uh, right about I know there's a bubble here somewhere um, oh yeah that's right there's no bubble <laughs> That's it. Nah, they got some fine bubbles somewhere around. I uh, just gotta look for it. If you can't see it, you know, then hey, you ain't gonna see it when it's flying, that's for sure. Alright, guys. Left wing panel. Go ahead and spray. this on here we're gonna try to try to get it as close to this your the other wing it might not be exact but it's all right as you can during this process.
next one. somewhere on there I think that'll work Yeah. Yeah, we'll work on 
the 30s. So we are now getting ready to finish up the bottom portion of the wing with the black stripes. Well, this is the flat black. And from here, it's pretty much the same techniques that we utilize on the stars, on the black, and then we do the white. But in this case, we're not putting any white on top of this one. So we're just doing the black, and that's it. And from here, we got the actual wing struts. We're covering it with Monaco. Initially, I was going to glass it and then paint it to just eliminate having to monocoat it. But at the end of the day, you know what? Monocoat's easier. Don't have to worry about the resin. Don't have to worry about breaking out all the paint equipment. All right, so this right here is the finished product. All right, so we got the wing struts. We got the jury struts on there as well. It's mounted on the wing. And there you go. That is it, guys. So the wing, the fuse, everything is completely covered. Now it's just getting the aircraft all put together, getting the engine on there, servos basically all installed and all set up. So that will be on the next video. We'll see what we're gonna do with the next video, if we're gonna actually go through all that. But more than likely, we'll probably just do the control throws and probably start the engine and then get into the maiden so that's it guys thanks for sticking around and i will see you on the next video shishu